Yeah, what is up to the island people? What is up to the squad? Welcome and welcome back, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> what you guys? Oh my goodness. Thank you for the love and support on Deep Purple Child in Time. Now, that one was highly requested on the island, and I had so much fun reacting to that song, to that band. Honestly, I was in shock. In shock in shock <laughs> i was in shock and you guys saw that you saw the look on my face um when the lead singer started singing and you guys told me that his name was is it ian ian jillian i'm hoping that i'm saying that right now everybody has dropped so much requests for deep purple and i don't know i want to hear more um because i'm definitely in love i was impressed last time and i'm here to see if they can impress me again um so we going again and we starting off with smoke on the water live guys if you're feeling the vibes and you want more deep purple on the island make sure you're liking the video all right let me hop into this one let's go the funny thing is I thought that the whole world and his mother would know the story behind Smoke on the Water. But I still get asked. Uh, journalists, uh, people at stage doors, you know, people I meet in the street. Um, when I'm, you know, what is the story behind Smoke on the Water? Was it a mountain burnt down? I mean, what? You know, you, and you kind of, so you have to tell the story again. Um, but it, what, what I love about Smoke on the Water is if you want to know the story... Listen to the words. It's 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 a story song. There aren't many, uh, uh, you know, narrative story songs in 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 the rock and roll genre, and and this is a a, a fine example. And so I would say again, if you want to know what it's all about, just listen to the words. Just about a couple of years ago, now we were in Montreux, in Switzerland, recording the Machine Head album, and this song here tells the story of most of the things that happened while we were out there, particularly. The burning down of the casino the night we were there watching the show and all the other affiliated hassles that we had over the period of time that we were there. Smoke on the walls of this one. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a 
it, it's it's interesting the way a band looks at its material when it comes to singles. Um, because we we weren't really, as, it goes without saying, we weren't really a singles band. It wasn't the kind of thing that we felt comfortable uh, sort of putting the material into single form. It, it didn't come easy to us. Um, but we were writing well by that time. And I and I honestly thought that we'd written a, a, a great single in Never Before. In fact, to the point that when we sent it across to Warner Brothers in the States, uh, we sent it with the indication that, that uh, Never Before would be the single. Uh, came back the comment, you must be joking, uh, the hit is Smoke on the Water, to which we said, you must be joking, the hit is Never Before. We honestly didn't think that Smoke on the Water was uh, hit material. Um, how wrong can you be? Hmm. How wrong can you be? Sometimes your best work is one that you think that you know you least expect it. Sometimes you you find your way out where you probably wasn't even looking. Um, wow, wow. So, wow. I love this video and all. I love that the the guy is there. Who is that? Is that one of the members when they got old? I don't know. Help. Send help. <laughs> but let me tell you guys. This one. Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. I like this one more than the last one. Now the last one was real good. Don't get me wrong. But you see this one? You see this one? I like this one too bad. I can see myself jamming out to this one because the other one, Child in Time, that one was a little slower, yeah? And I like this one. It's, it's a real head-banging thing. And honestly, I don't know why I'm so hype and dancing. And this is something tragic that I could, <laughs> basically. But they're making this real hype. So, um, Smoke on the Water, I guess it was inspired um, by a fire that happened that almost caused you know concert goers their lives so it was based on a true story i guess and uh, wow why is it so much fun to sing and dance too <laughs> wow oh my god that guy on the keyboard is my favorite keyboard player on the island hands down he's the best keyboard player i ever hear in my life and Mr. Ian. Is Ian his name? I hope so, you know. I hope so. <laughs> the way now I was looking forward to hearing how he was going to sing because I was looking for that, that high tone, that little screaming pitch there that I got in the last one. I was looking out for it in this one. I was so happy to hear it again in a different way on this song. Amazing. I'm so glad I discovered Deep Purple. Like, it's like loving two Led Zeppelins at this point. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Guys, make sure you like the video if you feel the vibe and you want more Deep Purple on the island. We're checking out more. For sure. Thanks, guys, for being here. Bye.